Hello all, welcome to aratrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about item master, which is part of supply chain management inventory module. Okay, so we'll just try to understand what is item master and what is inventory module and where exactly this particular item is used. So inventory management is one of the module of fusion, which is part of supply chain management, which has a, which has a, you know, like which manages information about the item costing solution and you know like a linkage of this item to across the different modules and also like a shipping and also like a warehouse management solution everything is part of inventory management supply chain module and now coming to the basic understanding of item master or what is item so item is nothing but it can be like a, any a product any you know like a, any item which you buy it or sell it right so let us say if you are if you're doing a shopping, you buy a cloth, you buy an item, you, you buy a screw, you buy a laptop, whatever it is, right? Anything which you exchange with a particular money or something, right? At kind of a transaction on exchange of a goods, right? It can be a service or a good. So generally this item, uh, the item master is nothing but which manages the, which has the inventory of item and each item will have a name, number, description, supplier, price, and different set of attributes, categories, everything is maintained in the item master. And of course the size, UIM, unit of measure, and the stock availability, and the sub inventory, nothing but the location of your item, inventory, sub inventory. So this all is part of a item master. Now coming to the, the understanding, like a where exactly it is used. It is used generally like in the purchase module or purchase order as well as sales order. Of course, there are other places, but basically these are the two areas where it is predominantly used. When you want to, perform when you want to create a purchase order you need to mention which item you want to purchase similarly when you're selling some uh, when you're selling an item to a, selling a particular product or item to a customer you need to mention what are you selling to customer whether you are selling laptop or you're selling or you're selling any of a, like a, what you call a printer or maybe you know like any goods or a cement bag whatever it is right you have to mention them so these all item related information will be part of item master okay inventory module now how do we create it? So the navigation for this item master or inventory item creation is you have to navigate to product management application. In that product management application, you have to click on product information management. And then you just need to click on the task list, which it shows the list of tasks, which is a part of, you know, like uh, for item, like uh, you can start creating an item or you can manage an item or you can search the item, many more, okay? To start with, like, uh, how do we create? You just need to navigate to this particular application. And then on the task list, you click on create item. And once you click on create item, it will be, it will navigate us to, you know, like the create item page where we have to enter the information. So before proceeding further about the table information, first of all, what we do is we'll just try to navigate and create an item. So we'll just click on product management and then product information management. It will take a while, yeah. So now click on the task list and here click on create item. Right? So by default here, if you say, when you're trying to create an item, by default, it will select a master organization and it is telling like whether you want to create it from a copy, nothing but when you're creating an item, right? If, if there's some of the attributes which are same exactly of the existing item, then you can do a create for a copy or you can just create a new item. And you can mention the list, nothing but when you're creating an item, if you want to have some kind of uh, list of attributes based on the item template, you can select that. Let us let us say if it's a finished good, you want to maintain some properties. Let us say if it's raw material, you want to say maintain some properties. If it is an item which is related to a specific chemical item, a chemical industry related item, you want to maintain some properties, right? So that way you can have a templates which are which you have to configure before proceeding. Now I'll just go with the default and I'll just click on OK. So here as of now, we just mentioned only the number of items as well as item master, nothing more than that. And then you can just mention the item number, XX item, let us say, I'll just mention and item description and by default it will populate some information like item status life cycle revision right and it's a long description unit of measure it got populated automatically and you, you can change it if at all if you want to have it and then this is a high level information of the item and if at all if you want to attach an image for an item you can just attach here and if at all if you want to associate this item to different different inventory organizations so what will happen is let us say you have a 
ERP application and in like you may have a number of inventory organizations. First of all, you'll create an item, in the master organization, and then you'll assign the item to multiple inventory organizations. Okay, so here, here in this particular navigation, in this particular screen or tab, you can just click on this particular assign and you can, yeah, this you can just click, click on this plus symbol and you can assign to a different set of organizations. Okay, so before proceeding further, I'll simply click on save and I'll just copy the item number. Okay, so item will be stored in the EGP system items B and where item number is equal to this one, the one which we entered. Okay, I'll just copy. And uh, I already have another query, but just ignore that as of now. So I'll just create a new query. Item query two. Just save it before proceeding click on data, click on view. Okay. So in this information here, if you observe it, like a item ID is a primary key. And like, a, as of now we have assigned to only one org. That is why it is showing only one record. If at all, if you're assigning to multiple org, it would have, it would have shown multiple records. And of course, some other, like um, the other attribute properties, which were auto-populated by default, right? Now, let us see other like other existing item which is a part of a fusion already which is existing item so i'll just search that okay So as of now, it is showing item availability in all organizations. That's why like it was showing multiple times. Now, an item can have an image, nothing but like when you're creating an item, you can mention what like uh, the image of an item and you know, like item class, nothing but which category it belongs to, item type, whether it's a finished finish good and all those things and also revision. What will happen is let us say, assume that in 2020, you create an item which is of a particular version, but in 2022, you want to release, a, you want to have a same item, but, but, if, but with a different version, right? So you can just revise an item and you can add up some more extra attributes to that. And now you need to measure and then association as we just discussed, like uh, the different inventory organization and item category. And you can just click on this one and you can mention the category of that. And now let me show you some of the tables Yeah. So item master will be available in the EGP system items B table. And if you want to have a translated, uh, like translate, uh, tra translated, you know, like a description, you can just refer to the items TL table. And if you want to refer to the item classes, you have to refer to item classes B table, the revision information will be available in the revision table. Most of the times in all the tables, the major linkage will be item underscore ID or inventory item ID, okay? And also for organization linkage, you have to refer to organization ID linkage. The, I mean, the parameter, the column name organization ID you have to refer, okay? So unit of measure will be available here and categories will be available in the item, like uh, EGP categories B and category, like every category will have a category set, right? So nothing but each category set will have a different set of categories. You make sure that you refer to all these tables when you're referring to categories information, okay? And relationship, like when you are having a cross-reference, nothing but let us say, you have an item and you call it as A, but you know, like customer refers it as X. So you need to understand like, uh, what, is a, what is X for you and what is A for him, like kind of thing. And now, this is this is one which has information about your inventory org okay and of course like uh, you'll have the business unit linkage also you can refer that one or this one but this is the best one easiest one you can say a very simple query like uh, if at all if you want to join this particular table to get the like organization code as well as your particular inventory name or org, like oh your name you can just refer to this query okay so for now, this is the like uh, this is the very simple information about the item stuff, and also I'll show you one more query like which has a very good wide amount of information for the items. So here, if you observe like uh, this one item item master table, and now here what I've done is I jo I joined with the item categories as well as the, as well as the unit of measure table. Okay, so now if at all if you just refer most of the times like a major linkage like of course 
between these tables, like between these particular tables, like um, item categories, ECB and ECSB, you'll have a category category set, category category ID linkage. Okay. And here, if you observe the this one, EIC item categories, that is definitely directly linked to organization ID as well as inventory ID. And similarly, if you observe the inventory, like a unit of measure, it is linked to primary UAM code of your main like uh, item master table. Okay. And um, again, if at all, if you want to have a description or UAM, UAM meaning rather than description, you can you can refer to I in, inventory unit of measure TL table. Okay. Of course, like whenever you're referring to these particular tables, make sure that you have a language language condition, like um, maybe a user language condition, or you can just hard code and also effective date consideration also you have to refer. Okay, so this is all about the item master details in the fusion. Thank you.